Hi, everybody. I'm Dan Lavallo, Hartford Yard Goats Baseball, and joining us is the voice of the Bowie Bay Sox, Adam Pohl. And Adam, how's everything going, first of all? Hey, great. It's great to be here in Hartford. This, you know, this season's almost done. This is our last ballpark to visit of the year uh, that we haven't been to yet, so we're, we're excited to be here. Now, it's an interesting series uh, and also a very interesting season for the Bowie Bay Sox friends because the Baltimore Orioles, we know, right. the parent club, not doing well, Adam, but you did receive a lot of players in trades before the trade deadline, and many of them are here in Bowie. Talk about that. Yeah, you know, I was talking to Jeff Dooley about this earlier, but uh, we in Bay Sox, obviously every team celebrates the players that have come through them, and uh, we have 10 banners throughout the ballpark that celebrate some of the great players that are playing in Major League Baseball now that have gone through Bowie. And over the span of two weeks, the Orioles traded or released four of the players on the third base concourse. <laughs> uh, so it, it was unbelievable. And uh, But with that, with trades uh, of players that have all come through Bowie, like Manny Machado and Kevin Gonsman and Jonathan Scope, uh, what has happened is that the Bay Sox, the Orioles got 15 players in return. 13 of those 15, though, uh, are either in the major leagues or very close to the major leagues, uh, being that they're, they've at least played at the double-A level or higher. And with that, we have half of those players here. I mean, it's remarkable uh, with, uh, you know, a month or two left in your season uh, to have literally one-third of your roster turn over. And the Bay Sox were a pretty talented team to start right. with. So to get seven new players, uh, it, it's been uh, uh, just quite a, a shakeup. Talking with Adam Paul, he's the voice of the Bowie Bay Sox. How have the players who remained here taken all of this? Boy, I, I guess in stride, I, I think more than the changes... Uh, with it, I, it's remarkable that the Orioles did not release anyone that was on the Bay Sox. Uh, one of our starting pitchers, Christian Binford, was traded. Uh, the Orioles, of course, had a lot of guys from AAA go up, so three or four guys from our club went up to AAA Norfolk. Um, so there's been just a, a lot of shuffling overall. Uh, but, uh, but I think by and large, all this change, it, it, it really uh, breeds opportunity. Uh, if you're a double A ball player, the Orioles are a great organization yeah, to be in right, right. now That's right. Uh, because it, it's not just uh, that they're struggling at the major league level, but they have put it out there uh, that they are going into a rebuild and that they're looking to build from within. And when you're at double A, you realize you're within. Yeah. Now, before we let you go, talk about reliever Brendan Klein. He came on last yeah. night. And man, he throws gas. <laughs> What's that all about? I know he had been sidelined for a couple of years, but boy, he's got big league stuff. Yeah, you know, it's funny. Uh, Brandon Klein is the highest drafted baseball player ever from Frederick, Maryland. And Frederick is the second yeah. largest city in the state of Maryland. Uh, he was... Uh, you know, the, the Orioles just traded Kevin Gossman, who, who got it, who went through the minor leagues very quickly. But Klein was the Orioles' second-round pick the year that Gossman was their first. And he's the exact same age as Kevin Gossman. So he has gone through a completely different process. He, he's missed uh, more than three years due to injury uh, in his pro career. And But the thing is, it, you know, if you're hurt and you're able to get back to where you were before you were hurt, a lot of times when you're injured, when you come back, you're not the same that's player. Right. And what Klein has been able to show is that he's still the same guy. And uh, that's why it'd be a surprise if he's not in the big leagues in the very near future uh, because of his talent, but also because he's the guy the Orioles have to protect on their 40-man after this year uh, to be able to keep. But well, we'll keep an eye on him. Adam, always a pleasure. Thanks for joining us. Most definitely. Us. Thank you for having me. We'll be back with more Yard Goats Baseball.